there's some nice, some real nice variety out of that thicker nib. But look at that, you can completely see like the ink's not flowing all the way. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? Where I go around the world and the internet looking for art supplies to help you and to try and make you like the craft just this much more. Now today we are going to a place that, I don't know, most people or artists won't actually try and go to, but I have found some gems there, which you can take a look at some of the other videos and actually see them. But we are gonna go to the Dollar Tree and look at Jot, double-ended or double-sided markers. So I saw these in the store and I was like, you know what? Jot has been putting out some really cool stuff. Like I really enjoyed their, they said it was a journaling like calligraphy pen like I really enjoy sketching with that uh, so I figured why not try some markers and see just how well they do because if you can get some halfway decent markers for $1.25 then why wouldn't you want to go pick them up so come on let's go check them out all right so as you can see I mean, it is in the Dollar Tree, so <laughs> can't really expect too much from the actual packaging, but it's, you know, it's a piece of chipboard and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> you can see the eight markers and there's no extra information to it. It's got an interesting little design on it, but that's about where it ends. So yeah, as far as the packaging goes, it's as simple as it can get chipboard, a little piece of plastic over the top to make sure that no one tries to run away with it. But yeah, so I'm gonna crack these bad boys open. All right, there. Ooh. All right, so they feel really light. Like they feel extremely light. And that also goes with the plastic is very slick and it it has that feel of like plastic, like almost cheap plastic, right? But it is a decent size, so that's nice. And let's see, oh, well, I mean, that's, that's a nice, that's a nice nib right there. Nice and sturdy looking, looks pretty good. Ink flow seems to be flowing really nice off of it, let's see. It's got a nice connection, but let's see if it snaps a little bit. Oh, I mean, it might not make a lot of noise, but it is definitely on there. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> okay, let's see the other one. Ooh, oh, that's an interesting. So they're doing something, right? The normally these kind of nibs are placed further back so that it's not as much exposed of the like spongy nib area, but this one's completely exposed. So that's interesting. I thought it was gonna be thinner. So I'm actually excited about the fact that it's actually a thicker nib. So that's good. Let's see if it posts. Oh, look at that. It even posts. I mean, okay. We've had markers in the past that are way more expensive and then they wouldn't even post. But look at that. That's. That's nice, I like that. All right, let's try them out. As usual, Bristol Board 300 series, smooth. That's what we're gonna work on today. Let me just go ahead and grab that purple. I don't know, I don't know if these are supposed to be water-based. These might be water-based. Doesn't say. Doesn't say, but it didn't smell any alcohol on it, so so these might actually just be water-based. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's some nice, some real nice variety out of that thicker nib. But look at that, you can completely see like the ink's not flowing all the way. So it might just be this one, but so far, the ink's not completely going along with the marks, so you'd have to be aware as you were making your marks. 
But I have to say the ink flow on this is actually really nice. As far as, you know, like if you're moving, the problem is, is that, well, I guess you can't say the ink flow is good because ooh, it, it starts to break apart as you get towards the end, especially if you make more than one mark. Like if you let the ink get to the bottom and then you make one mark, it's pretty nice. But then if you kind of follow it up, it breaks up and starts beating. So that's not, that's not necessarily the best. Let's see. Well, I guess not. I mean, cause see a water-based, a water-based marker would have like completely obliterated the, the paper at that point. If I had put that much ink down, so it might, it might not be alcohol based, but it ink based, but I have to say that even though, even though it kind of breaks apart and starts beating in certain areas, if you go over it, it's got a nice, nice, rich and opaque color. So that's different. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah, see, they're all kind of, <laughs> I guess that dollar is really coming through here, you know? You paid a dollar and the inks, these are almost dead on arrival. Yeah. I'm trying to give it some credit. Oh, look, oh man. I mean, that was just completely toast. Oh, look, <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. What happened to that one? Jeez Louise, do you guys see that? Look at that. That is crazy. I mean, that's just, it's the one. <laughs> it's, oh. All right, let's try and pick those pieces back up and put this back in here. All right. <laughs> I don't know. See, but then you got this nice one here. Look at that. Oh. That color's so nice. But I mean, okay, so this one seems to have the most ink or flow in it and still at some of the places, it's it breaks down here, like on the edges. The ink's not flowing all the way through. But I mean, look at that. I mean, it's such a nice color. See, I mean, I think like what if they work, if it has ink in it, and it's actually really, yeah, I mean, okay. So these aren't, they're not bad, but so far we're at like 50%, you know, 50% good, 50% not good because they were all just toast and didn't have enough ink on it or in it. See, like that, this is another one that's dead. Not even worth keep it go with that one this yellow <laughs> it's just all there the majority of these markers are just toast see and even the ones that kind of do well once you get this one going it's starting to work better but right if you are you do like fast marks it breaks apart on the edges. At least for this one, it's on the bottom edge. It starts breaking up. Yeah, I think this might be more ink. These are ink-based than alcohol-based. But then again, I don't know. It's just like, if they're water-based, they're not breaking up the paper like most water-based markers would. But the biggest issue is that they keep, like the ink keeps dissipating like in the middle or on the edges and stuff like that. So you're not, yeah, if you try and do something, you know that you're working with a marker that's on its last legs. All right, so we just got done reviewing the Jot double-ended markers and these are, well, I normally don't, I don't say this very often, but these are not worth it. <laughs> 
if this is what I have to expect when I pick up these markers from the Dollar Tree, that they don't even work, like, I think out of the eight pack, one of them was good, two of them was running out of ink, and then the rest of them, the other five were already just dead. They, they had no ink or very little to go off of, so it really wasn't worth it. I mean, I can only hope that I just got a bum package and that the other ones do work. Like if you grab it, they do work because it looks as though the colors could be very vibrant and they could be something that you could use to fill larger areas. It'd be like really nice for journaling or for um, some quick adult coloring book st type style or even children's coloring book stuff. But I don't know, right? Like I have no idea because they just didn't, they just didn't work. So I didn't even want to keep going because most of it, it just didn't work. So if they're not going to work coming right out of the package, how are they going to interact with like other ink pens and stuff like that? So like I said, normally don't say that, but these were definitely not worth it. Even though they were a dollar, <laughs> they still weren't worth it because it didn't work. It just didn't work. Well, I hope that that helped you in some way, shape or form because that wraps up this episode and I hope that you got something from it and maybe even be able to save yourself some time and money um, after watching this review. If you have any products that you would like me to review, please go ahead and drop it in the comments below and I will add it to the list. Now, if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified every single time that I drop new content. Thank you all so very much and I will see you at the next episode.